Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations for f of x. And what we are given is f of x plus 5 equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. So let's see how we can solve this using two different methods. So the first thing is we consider the solution from here. And if I consider this as method 1, so for the first method, so I'm going to use form manipulation to solve this. So from this left hand side, we have f of x plus 5 equals. So looking at this, we have x squared plus 4x plus 5, which is the given questions. Then this is not factorizable. <clears throat> okay, so we cannot factorize this. And what I'm going to do here is, suppose I write this thing as f of x plus 5. So this equals, instead of uh, x squared plus 4x plus 5, I'm going to write it as x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 1. So this is still the same thing as this. And if I try to combine this together, then what we have here becomes f of x plus 5. So equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. So I will bracket this, then here is plus 1. So we have to note something here that x squared plus 4x plus 4. So it's in the form of this. We have f of x plus 5 equals, so the whole of this becomes x plus 2 all squared. Then a is plus 1. So after having this, then, so we need x plus 5 here. We know that our x plus 5, which is inside this function, so it's our domain. So let's call it d. Then, what we are going to do here is, I want to manipulate this thing. So, and to manipulate that, we have f of x plus 5 equals, so if I change this one to x plus 5. So, well, initially I have x plus 2, it means I'm going to subtract 3 from here. So, after I've subtracted 3, then I put everything in bracket, then with squared. So, a is plus 1. So now that I've already uh, make this side looking the same thing as what we have in the domain, then it is now left to us to replace this x plus 5 uh, with x, since we are asked to calculate f of x. So by changing x plus 5 to x, we have f of x equals, so here is x plus 5, which has changed to x, so and here is minus 3. So I'm going to put this one in bracket. So an i is plus one. Then we have to expand this. So by expanding, we have f of x. So equals the expansion of this becomes x squared minus six x plus nine. So an a is plus one. So therefore, we have f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 10. So here is the result to this using a form manipulation method. So let's see another method of solving this. So let's consider the second method and see which one is more effective for solving these functional equations. And as for the second method, so let's consider it as method two. So here I'm going to apply substitution method. So let's say from this domain, which is x plus five, if I let our x plus five here, which is our domain, suppose I let it equals to t. So that is, I'm going to make x the subject of the formula here. So therefore we have x equals t minus five. So from this, 
right hand side we have x squared plus 4x plus 5 i need x and this is our x but i will i also need 4x so it means if i multiply this one by 4 what we have here becomes 4x equals 40 minus 20 and also i need x squared so and from here we have our x squared equals t minus 5 t minus 5 squared so then x squared equals t squared minus 10t plus 25 so let's try and substitute everything back so therefore we have f of instead of x plus 5 i'm going to replace it with uh with t we have f of t equals instead of x squared which is from this questions x squared i'm going to replace x squared with the whole of this and uh, here is t squared minus 10t plus 25 then we have plus 4x and that 4x is now our uh we have it as 40 minus 20 so here we have plus 40 minus 20 then plus 5 so with what we have here this is f of t equals t squared so here is t and here is also t so minus 10 t plus 40 that is minus 60 so here is 25 plus 5 so 25 plus 5 that is plus 30 then minus 20 so by this we have f of t equals t squared minus 60 plus 10 and we need to find x not f of t so we have to replace x with t so by replacing x with t we have our f of x here so equals x squared minus 6x plus 10 and we get the same answer where we apply substitution method to solve this functional equation and uh, similarly when we apply a uh, form manipulation method to solve this functional equation we get the same answer so this is how it works if there is any other method of solving this we can drop it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.